Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Often when I'm demonstrating how to like cut a person out from an image to composite into a different scene, I use an image of a person in front of either a white or gray background because it's really easy to do it that way. But often when I do it, uh, someone will message me and say, you know, that's nice, but can you do a video demonstrating how to do it when it's a more complicated background, like somebody's out in the street? And sure, it's a little more difficult, but it's not super, super hard, especially nowadays with the new, new tools that are available in the latest version of the Creative Cloud, Creative Cloud version of Photoshop. Before I begin real quick, though, I just want to mention one thing. Um, a couple days ago, I did a video that had nothing to do with photography. Uh, I was a little hesitant about doing it because it had nothing to do uh, with photography. In that video, I talked about exactly how much I earn on YouTube and gave people some tips on what they could do um, if they want to start their own YouTube channel and how to monetize it. I got tons of positive feedback on that video. I just wanted to thank everyone uh, for their kind comments. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it linked below and a little flag will pop up on the right hand corner of the screen if you'd like to watch it. All right, now compositing, uh, just clipping someone out from a background that isn't an even white or gray background. Now with the new tools in Photoshop, what I suggest you do is go to any of the selection tools, any of them, just hit the W key on your keyboard. And when you do that, you'll pick whatever selection tool was last active. In this case, it is the quick selection tool for me. If I just click and hold on that little cubby, you can see that there's uh, three different selection tools there. At this point, it doesn't matter which tool you have active because what you're going to do is you're going to go up to the top and click on select subject. That is available for all three of those tools. So we'll just click on that. And what it will do is it will find the subject in the scene. And most often it does a really good job, as you could see. Now, there's some problems. Her hair isn't perfect. Also, this part right here uh, is selected and it shouldn't be. So we're gonna clean that up. We're going to go to the quick selection tool. And what I wanna do is I wanna remove this from the selection. You can see right now, and I'll make the brush bigger with the right bracket key. You can see there's a plus sign in the middle there. If I wanna just temporarily change it to a negative brush to remove something from the uh, selection, hold in the Alter Option key, Alter via PC Option if you have a Mac, and keep that key held in and you'll have a negative brush. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush, keep that key held in, and just go like that. So we selected that to be removed from the selection. Now, one thing that used to trip me up when I first started with Photoshop and doing selections, especially with people with um, you know hair that was kind of flying off from their head a little bit, I wanted to get every single hair. And actually, you don't have to. No one is gonna notice. So you're going to want to just do the best you can and get as many hairs as possible. Um, and Really, don't worry about it. So what we're going to do now, once we have this rough selection, we're going to go up to the Select and Mask button. We're going to click on that, and you'll be in the Select and Mask mode. And you can see you, uh, I have it default to a red. The red part is what isn't selected. There's a lot of different views you could choose from. There's onion skin view that, you know, you can see it's a pretty good selection already with the onion skin view. Uh, Marching ants, that's that red overlay on black. And you, when you're on black, you have the opacity or you have the option to choose the opacity. And that might uh, help you see if you have any haloing uh, with your selection there. But you can see straight off, it really did a very nice job with our selection. So we'll bring that back. So I'm gonna stay with the uh, red overlay just because I'm used to it. And also with that, you have opacity as well. You can make it really dark or somewhere in the middle. And we'll go with somewhere in the middle. Now I wanna just fix up her hair a little bit. Um, I'm going to zoom in. I'm gonna hit Command Plus on my Mac a couple times. It's a Control Plus on a PC. Hold the space bar in, and then the cursor turns into a hand tool and you can drag it around. Now, on the left-hand side, you have a number of tools. You have a quick selection tool. That's the same exact quick selection tool I used uh, for down here. And below that, you have a rough fine mask tool. And that's what you'll most often use. With that, you just point over or you paint over an area that doesn't 
have a good selection on it and Photoshop will re-examine that area and hopefully give you a better selection. Uh, below that is just a regular brush tool. You could brush and add something with a brush or remove something with a brush. There's no algorithm involved. You're just adding it or removing it when you brush with the brush stroke. You also have the object selection tool and that's the same exact object selection tool that's in regular Photoshop. You have a lasso tool and you have the hand tool and again with the hand tool just hold the space bar in and you'll get that hand tool. And you have a magnifier so you could zoom in. Now I want to fix in here, see in here, so I'm going to go to the refine edge brush and you have two different modes, plus mode or minus mode. We're going to add and I'm just going to paint in here to try to kind of refine around the hair there, refine around her hair up in here, like that, refine down in here, maybe refine right there. So then just look around all the little edges and you could kind of drag around. And down here around her feet, you could see how that, um, it doesn't look like it's a good selection right in there. The rest of it looks pretty good though. And we'll go to a minus mode here and we'll get that a little better. Like that. And that looks pretty good. Now over on the right hand side you have a lot of different options. And if you want to fit this to screen, by the way, just hit uh, Command or Control Zero and you'll fit it to screen. Now, what I found what works best is don't often move the sliders great amounts. Uh, then they'll work better. Uh, the selection usually will look better if you smooth it just a little bit. And usually under 10 is what I do. Uh, experiment, I encourage you to experiment also. Feathering will depend on the resolution of your image, but usually somewhere between one and five pixels at most, usually under three. So I'll go to with 1.6. Contrast I don't often move, that might help you uh, get a better selection when you're using the refine edge brush if you have contrast turned up. And shift edge, you could shift the edge of your selection out or in. In this case we don't have to do that. And just edge detection when you're using the refine edge brush you may want to move the radius um, out a little bit so it's looking beyond your brush a tiny bit and then when you go with this refine edge brush and you're kind of coming in here it'll look around a little bit more. There's also a smart radius button or click box there. I never use that. I've not had good luck with that. Now once you're done, you're happy with your selection, you have a lot of choices. You could output it to a regular selection, layer mask, a new layer, a new layer with a layer mask, and so on. I'm just going to leave it with a selection because that's actually most often what I do. And I'll click OK. And when you do, you have that selection now. Now she's not clipped out yet. To clip her out, just duplicate the layer. Hit Command or Control J and you duplicated the layer. Turn the layer under it off. And there, she's clipped out. Now if you want to drag uh, her onto another image so you could do a composite, just get the Move tool, V key, V for victory, and then you could drag her around. So you could see how that very easily uh, allows you to mask out an image from a busy background. All right. Now, um, let's try this one. This one has a little more challenges, and we're going to start out the same way. I'm go just going to go to the Selection Tools in general, gen general by hitting the W key on my keyboard, click on Select Subject, and let Photoshop do its magic. And it did a selection, and actually did a decent selection, uh, as I could see. Uh, as you look around, now it kind of didn't select her gra glasses very well. Over here, let me zoom in a little bit, hit Command Plus a couple times. Hold the space bar in, drag over, and you can see how it's leaving out part of her glasses. I think we're going to have to use the Refine Edge brush for that. It also, inside of her earring here, it's got a hole in it so you can see through it, and it didn't do that very well either. So we're going to take care of that. And otherwise, as I look around, it looks okay. Uh, down here on her feet, it didn't do a good job. So we're actually going to fix that now. We're going to get the Quick Selection brush again. And by default, the Quick Selection brush is in Add Mode. So we're going to add to the selection. We'll just come down here and try to better select her feet. Now it's over selecting now. When I say over selecting, that means it's going beyond her foot and getting some of the ground in. So do that. With every kind of pass, it will improve with its selection. So now I'll hold the Alt or the Option key on my Mac, Alt on a PC to get a negative brush. And we'll come in like this and try to get it to a better selection. 
over there. It's still not very good. And we'll go like this. And we'll come like up in here. Like that. All right. Now it's getting a little better. It's still not great. So you just gotta kind of finesse it and work with it best you can. And here, remember now, here we're more or less going for a rougher selection. We'll refine this uh, in a second. And And uh, like this maybe. Yeah, that's a little better. I'll just double check, go around, go around. Didn't get part of her phone right here, so I'm gonna get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key. See if I could get her, all of her phone in there. Now it overselected, I'll hold the um, option key on my Mac in to try to get that. I might have to refine that as well. Okay, we're going around, and again, we're going to, I could try to get her glasses here. Use that still, the same quick selection tool. Come around and over select it, hold the Alt or Option key in to get rid of the selection. Yeah, it did a much better job there. Now we're going to go up to Select and Mask again. We'll go there. And you can see that we have the issue here with her earring. So we're going to get a smaller brush. Again, we're going to use that Refine Edge Brush tool. And we'll come in here and go like that. Oh, before I do this, actually, I should do this first. We'll go with the radius, bring it out about two pixels. We'll smooth everything a little bit. We'll add a little bit of feathering. All right, now we're gonna come in here and we're gonna refine the edge around her glasses. Like that. A little better. Her hair looks pretty good. I could come in here maybe and try to get some strands of her hair. Again, it, that's the main thing that trips a lot of people up. They try to get every hair. And you really don't have to. Um, let's see. Where we had the problem with her feet. It's a little bit funky down there. And I don't think the refine edge brush is going to help on that. I just think it's too dark. And you can see how it's not really helping. So what we're going to do is we're going to just get a regular brush. We're going to go in minus mode. I'll get a smaller brush, left bracket key, right bracket key there, make it just right. And then now wherever I paint, I'm removing, period. It's not, it's not smart. It's just a brush. Wherever I'm brushing, I'm brushing it away. So you just have to have a steady hand and do the best you can. And that actually doesn't look uh, bad at all. Now there is a bit of refinement needed where her heel is up above where her sandal is. So we'll go to the refined edge brush and we'll in positive mode. It's just fine. We'll go around her edge of her foot like that. Maybe then we'll go to negative mode and just kind of get in here a little bit. Like that. I think there's a little bit of edge there needs to be done. I'm going to hit command zero and to zoom back out. And I think that looks pretty good. Now the option, other options we have, I mentioned there were many, the other more common option that people use instead of selection is a new layer with layer mask. And we'll do that this time. So we'll click OK. And you can see there it is. She's clipped out. And you can see you don't have to do anything. It automatically put her on the old, old, her own layer. Uh, she's clipped out. Now if you actually wanted to move her onto a different image, um, what you could do, you, you know, you could take everything with you, but the meaning the mask with you. The easiest thing I found to do is just to right click right on the mask and apply the layer mask. Then it's pretty much like we were last time. We'll get the move tool, we'll hit the V key, and then we could just move her off onto another image. Now, I saved the hardest one for last. Uh, this one here, it's just the tones. There's nothing really standing out that much. Um, her coat and pants on the white wall are nice, and her dark hair on that white wall are nice. But down, you know, from the knees down, it's kind of really blending in a lot. So this is a difficult image. So what we'll do again, we'll get to any selection tool, hit the W key on your keyboard. We'll go to Select Subject and let it do its thing. And hopefully it will get a subject. You know, well, it's selected actually pretty good, pretty good actually. Um, all right, let's get a little closer look at her feet. I'm going to hit Command Plus a couple times. Hold the space bar in and go like this. All right, it definitely didn't select it very well here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get that quick selection brush again. 
and we're going to get the minus brush. So I'm not going to hold the Alt key in. I'm just going to get the minus brush by clicking on that minus icon. And then we'll come in here and we'll see if we could get a better selection of her feet. Now you can see how that's a real problem right here. Now we could just, I actually prefer just to stay on the regular old brush. This one right here. Sorry, this one right here. And then now I'm adding to the selection. Meaning I like to stay on this brush and just hold my Alt key in or Option key on my Mac. All right, that's not too bad there. Hold that Alt Option key in. Fix that selection. Fix it a little bit. Looks, it looks all right, I guess. Coming along. And again, it kind of gets better every time you, you do it. Now we need to remove from the selection here. It's really hard to see where the ground begins and her boot ends and stuff like that. So just kind of do the best you can. And again, this is something that a lot of people newer to Photoshop, they just sweat it a little bit too much. It really isn't necessary uh, to just have it absolutely perfect. So we'll just look real quick. All right, now we're going to refine it around her hair. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we'll just go to Select and Mask at this point. I'm going to hit, going to hit Command-0 to fit it to screen. And there's some issues in her hair over on, the, on my right-hand side, her left a little bit. All those little edges of her hair need to be refined as well. So we'll zoom in, hit Command Plus a couple times, and then got that refined edge brush. We'll get a slightly larger brush, and we'll come in on these edges, and we're just going to brush over these edges of her hair like this. And you let go, it'll do its thing, and hopefully refine them. What I forgot to do again, because I'm trying to talk, I'm not a good multitasker. Let's come in and move these sliders a little bit here. All right. And we'll come in here. Actually, there wasn't a problem. That's her earring. Uh, I thought there was a problem there. That isn't a problem at all. It's the way her earring is. And I, I don't know if that's just a reflection on her glasses or if that's part of the selection. So what I'm going to do is get a regular brush and I'm going to add to the selection. I'm just going to brush over that just to make sure that it's selected. All right, and then we'll go back to our refine edge brush and we'll kind of go down a little bit. We'll come in here, get a smaller brush right in between our fingers. And actually everything looks pretty good. Maybe this little edge of her boot a little bit. See if we could refine that. It's going to be tough. Now I see it didn't do a good job. So we'll get the regular brush tool. Oops, don't want to do that. I'll hit Command Z to undo that. It's Control Z if you have a PC. Go to the minus tool again, come in here. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, the bottom of her boot looks kind of funky. So we're going to try to do that. One little tip with these, um, with the brush tool itself. It won't do it when you have a minus brush, but it will do it when you have a plus brush. Let's go to the plus brush. And let's add to the selection a little bit here. What you could do is if you need to draw a straight line, what you could do is click once at one point, go to the opposite point, hold the shift key in, and you'll draw a straight line. But it only works with the plus brush. If you try to do that with the minus brush, what will happen is when you click once, go to the opposite point and hold the shift key in, it changes it to a plus brush. So you really I uh, can't do it with the minus brush, only with the plus brush. And actually, I think that looks pretty good. So we're going to hit uh, Command-0 to fit it to screen. And we're going to output it to a selection. Click OK. There's our selection. I'll hit Command-J on my Mac to put it on its own layer. And there it is. And it clipped out her hair and everything uh, really well. So it isn't impossible to clip out a person from a busier background. Uh, again, most professional photographers, if they know they're going to be taking an image for composite, they'll photograph that person in front of a white or gray background because it just makes it so much easier. But there are times, I'm sure, you don't have a white or gray background, you don't have a studio, and you want to do a composite, just take them outside and put them in a non-busy, as non-busy a location as possible, 
and you'll still be able to do it. You noticed on these images, all of the backgrounds were typical city backgrounds, and I was able to clip out of the people just fine. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>